Isn't that a beautiful sight? It has officially started. That's right. The Hardcore Iron Man series on Old School. I do want to start this series off, and yes, this is Bama from the future, by saying that I'm following a guide to begin with because I know nothing about the game. So I'm following a guide made by Osiris RS about two years ago. I'll link it down in the description. It's a giant paste bin. That's what I've been using for the past week, or, or for this week, um, and I will probably be transitioning into something else. I'm not quite sure yet, but that's where we're starting. Okay, what are the chances of getting a clue scroll on my first goblin kill? I, I don't even know if I'll, I'll be able to do this anytime soon. Search the crates in Horvix armor. So this is uh, Varrock. Okay. And that is quest number one complete. Okay, one quest down and what, like 150 to go? I, I don't even know. There's the classic quest complete, Sheep Herder. Now let me put my defensive stuff back on right away because, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of getting hit by anything right now. Anyway, there's Sea Slug taken care of, yeah. Level 1 to 24. <laughs> Easy. Top agility. Some of the best content in the game unlocked. At least the first the first course is unlocked. Quest complete. Plague City. Can learn the arty telly. So I got to the point in the guide where I start doing Winter Tot. And now I've done 26 kills. I'm going to open those crates, see what I get. And it looks like I got a Pyromancer Garb and a Bruma Torch and a whole lot of random resources. Well, there's day four done, up to 85 fire making now, and let's just say that the tab is growing. And the grind here at the Winter Toad is done. 88 fire making well on my way to 89, 60 wood cutting out of the way. And 200 of these to open up. So I'm going to pop these open, maybe time lapse it, and we'll go from there. Mute the music. It's not going to look right, but there we go. There we go. Big drops, big drops. Wish I had the axe, but Phoenix is something, right? Also, full outfit. Unfortunately, no hatchet acquired, but this is the total loot from Winter Tot. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good tab. Also, two garbs, two hoods, one of the rest. Phoenix pet, two torches, and a fire. A tome of fire. 288k cash stack. Now that, I like that. I like that. I know I'm about to do a lot of thieving pretty soon, so it's not going to really matter, but... I like having money. And there's another quest done. Gertrude's cat. Let's see which color kitten it is. Oh yes. That's a good boy. And there's another quest done. Shield of Erev. I totally missed the quest dialogue actually. But uh, Romeo and Juliet. Quest completed. Lups acquired. Hunter and Slayer XP. Level 9 in both. Yep. Rune Mystery's done, but Rune Crafting is unlocked. R.I.P. Well, that was a super productive day. Finally finished up at Wintertot for now. Doing a little bit of rooftop agility just to make the whole quest grind, running across continents a little more bearable uh, with regards to, like, run energy. And yeah, uh, slowly working on this. Going to keep doing agility courses for the rest of the night. Try to get like 40 or 50. We'll see. Uh, and I'm raising my cat, my little kitten. And that is the message I've been looking for for the past few hours. Cat is fully grown. There we go. Well, the fight there was a little spooky, but hey, quest done. Witch's house taken care of. And that was like 10 health levels. And her blur is now unlocked. That is actually a good skill. 
and another quest complete, which is potion. Time to take care of Night Sword. And I got the red berry pie on the second try. Big quest down, Night Sword. Hey, Taurus Trap complete, even though I skipped the dialogue. I promise. It it is completed. Big quest completion. And catcher. Also I can have the amulet. Fight arena done for some big attack XP gains. But I mean I'm about to do waterfall quest anyway. Completely missed it. Didn't even get the message in chat, but total level 509. Okay, even more attack XP, more quest points. Gnome Amulet. And skim acquired. Big upgrade. I I haven't been here forever, I promise. Only 83 kills in like an hour and a half. Request added to the log, 1500 thieving XP. There's the big strength level, 30 right away. 40 attack, that's... wait, is that rune? Or is it 50? Yeah, cool, so I can wield the rune skim now. And that is the end of week one. Now I'm going to be ending every week off on weird number. It's going to be like 6, 13, 20 instead of, you know, 7, 14, 21, etc. Simply because I like the idea of uploading on Saturdays as opposed to Sundays. Yeah, I know, weird reason. Anyway, that's it for the week. That's what the count looks like. 575 total, 35 quest points. Pretty decent bank. I mean, 250k, nothing to scoff at. A uh, little, little bit of resources going on here. And, you know, nice little stack of five rune daggers. And this is the final skill total. So that's it for week one. Did manage to stream every single day for five to six hours is about the goal. Going to keep doing it daily for as long as possible. So see you guys there. Thanks for watching.